Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matt from PSI Conversions and today I'm going to be talking about these Gen 5 swaps and a very important feature that you need to make sure you get correct when you're ordering your swap harness. Um, what we're going to be talking about is the fuel rail pressure sensor and it's located at the back of the driver's side fuel rail which is underneath the intake manifold on the direct injection engines. You don't have to take the intake manifold off to determine which sensor you have but I'm gonna take it off and show you guys what it looks like underneath there just so you have a better understanding. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like with your intake off. You can see the fuel pressure sensor back here at the very end of the fuel rail that runs along the driver's cylinder head. Now. This is either gonna have three or four wires that is directly in the sub harness for this fuel injection rail that our harness is gonna plug into over here. That's why it's super important to make sure you select the right one because you will still physically be able to plug in your harness and try and start your engine up if you select the wrong one and it will just not run right because that sensor needs to be matched to your ECU in order to function properly. I've got the two different styles of fuel rail sensors here. I've got the four wire over here and there's two different three wires. They both function the same. They just look a little bit different. I wanted to show you both of them. So the four wire here, you can see has four terminals in there and it will have four wires on the connector side. Whereas this one only has three. The connector is also a little bit wider on the four wire. And the reason I'm going to recommend making sure that you match your harness to the engine rather than changing out one of these sensors if you do order it wrong is on the fuel rail side. You can see the nozzle is different as well as the seat angles are different. So I'm just going to throw the intake manifold back on so that way you guys can see what it's going to look like on the back of your engine with it fully assembled. Um, this connector right here is just for testing purposes. Yours would normally be connected directly to the sub harness, so you can ignore that connector. So as you can see, it's tucked in there and tight, but you, it is definitely visible with the uh, intake manifold on and you can determine the correct one that you need for your swap. All right, so that's what you need to keep in mind for the fuel rail pressure sensor on these Gen 5 engines because, once again, you will be able to wire up your harness, but you will not be able to fire up your project. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video helped you get it wired up and fired up. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment with any questions about this video or any ideas that you want to see us cover in the future. And remember, you can always speak to a live team member at 732-276-8589 or at any one of the email addresses below. We'll see you guys in the next video.